Good morning, everybody. Mike Vaki, PrincetonTrader.com, here with your Monday morning market webcast. All right, first day of April. Um, as I look at the tape this morning, you can see here on the daily chart, we spent the majority of last week just kind of battling over either side of the nine day and the daily mid band, the 20 day. You can see the bulls gained some advantage on Friday. We gapped up last night, and they're trying to to, uh, to go ahead and run it up uh, to test uh, the high from March the 21st at 2866. Globex high right now at 61 quarter. So I'll be interested to see if they can take that up. If they can, then they can re-engage the upper band here and go on another band ride. So we're not overbought. We're not anything. I mean, they worked this off for the course of, you know, four days or so. The Bears had the big move down. We based for four days, and now they're, they're lifting it back up to test it. Uh, the Bears are going to have to defend uh, the, the 2861 to 2866 area. They're going to need to defend it. Um, and by defending it, they can't hold serve up here. We can't spend this week basing up here because it'll just do this again. Um, there needs to be a rejection at some point this week coming back in to test the new uh, weekly pivot, uh, which is way down at this point, 28, 23 quarter. So, um, you know, not quite um, 40 handles from the current Globex high and, you know, 30 something handles from where we're trading right now. Um, on the hourly chart, you can see 26 quarter, 23 quarter, and that's just a byproduct of the churning that we did last re week. Um, you know, the range is narrowing, as we mentioned, and then, you know, come, come Friday, there were only so many looks at weekly pivot that you were going to get, and then they lifted right up off it. Uh, they gapped it up here to fill the gap for me. Everybody looks at these things differently. Um, for me, it's got to it's gotta go print 39 half to 39 to fill it up, um, which would be an interesting move down. Uh, it would have to convert the hourly mid band along the way to do that. Um, so it's Monday. Do we get a look at weekly pivot Monday, Tuesday, you know, Wednesday into Thursday to get the two directional days? The Bears really blew it from the standpoint of they have been defending weekly pivot pretty well, and this should have been their time, and it wasn't. And what they did was they let the Bulls get take control back as we open up the um, you know as we open up Sunday night, you know, solid 15, 16 handles above the weekly pivot, which they instantly turned into about 30 handles above the weekly pivot, and then they kind of took it from there. So uh, weekly pivot's gonna be big. The new monthly pivot, 281067, that's that's uh, down here, but when I say down here, it's, you know, it's, we were trading there Thursday. So over the course of this entire long-term run-up, 10, 11 years, you know, 10 years. When the Bears typically make mistakes like this, the Bulls have made them pay, okay? We retested the hourly mid-band. That was the best way in calendar year 2019 that we've seen so far for the Bears to have been able to get some tape control back, turn it into a sell rallies market instead of a buy dips market, and they blew it. So now they're, they're, they're fighting back, they're on their heels. And unless we really see something in the next couple of days, I think we walk up and go do that, uh, that daily upper band in the 2870 area. And uh, you know, we'll see where we end up. Um, it's up to the bears to stop them. Otherwise we just continue to march right on up. Um, the news flow uh, is not as heavy as it was uh, last month. So we'll have to see if, you know, if a little bit more certainty out there or a little bit less unknown, there's no certainty, there never is, um, is good for the tape. So keep an eye on 2850 today and then keep an eye on the Globex high. And if they move up and make a higher high, you got to look at 66, the highest from March 21st. All right, everybody have a great day. Have a great week. Um, we will be on, uh, Instagram live at 920. Uh, to talk into the opening bell, and I will see uh, everybody then. Take care. Trade them well.
Follow us over on Twitter, Instagram, and Snapchat, at Princeton Trader. Check us out on Facebook, and join us for a free trial at www.princetontrader.com. Trade them well.